Good morning, everybody. Quick video this morning. Just wanted to uh, talk a little bit about what GNS3 is and why you might want to check it out. So GNS3 stands for Graphical Network Simulator, and it is a great way to learn networking, uh, whether you're studying for a certification or maybe you're just curious about how networking works. If you're anything like me, there's no better way to learn than actually getting your hands on things, configuring, breaking things, uh, fixing what you broke, troubleshooting, and just really just getting your hands dirty with the technology. Again, if you're anything like me, the books help. It's great to read all the books and understand uh, the technology and terminology and everything like that, but what really makes it stick for me is getting on the console, um, configuring things, trace routes, right? I mean, just, just really getting your hands dirty with the technology. Um, so this is a great way to do that. Again, this is obviously a simulated environment, completely out of production, so you feel free to do whatever you want, right? This is where you can make all the mistakes over and over um, and really understand why things don't work when you configure them wrong, why they do work when they're configured correctly, and so on and so forth. Um, so that's probably my number one reason why uh, you should download GNS3 is if you're studying for a network related certification or if you're just curious and want to learn more about uh, networking. Uh, another good reason would be, uh, let's say you have some new switches, new routers that came in, or maybe you're looking to re-architect your infrastructure at, uh, at work or in a production environment why not do it in a simulated environment first test everything you know make the mistakes in a simulated environment prior to rolling that up to production it's a lot easier to ask your boss for a change window and explain to them what you're doing if you can show them what you're doing right and say hey we know this is going to work because we've tested it out here's how we configured it here's what it looks like um you're a lot more likely to get that blessing to make that change in production if you've already done it in a in a test or a simulated environment. So those are a couple really good reasons why you should download and check out GNS3. Very good tool. Another, you know, a couple very obvious reasons, at least for me, is it's free. It's open. It's open source, and it's supported on pretty much every platform. You could run this on Windows. You could run this on Linux. You could run this on Mac. Um, and there's a pretty good community out there too. So if you jump on some of the GNS3 forums, if you get stuck, um, folks out there are very like likely to help you out or at least point you in the right direction. Um, I've been in that, I've been in those situations multiple times. I've reached out to the community, and more often than not, they were able to you know help me out, point me in the right direction, and get me out of a pinch. So yeah, I would definitely recommend checking out GNS3 guys. So download it. Um, let me know what you think about it. And hey, I'd, I'd be willing to be one of those guys in the community. If you get stuck, reach out, ping me on my YouTube and I'm more, more than happy to help you guys. Best of luck with your GNS3 journey, guys. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.